everyone who's uh, taken time to listen in on our virtual meeting. Uh, these meetings are very beneficial to let residents know uh, what improvements in road infrastructure we're proposing. In this case, uh, Northwest uh, Loop 820 and uh, Marine Creek Parkway at that intersection. There's going to be a number of things that we're seeking to improve. Among them, uh, and found, uh, you know, U-turn lane, uh, 900 linear feet of uh, of a 10-foot, uh, you know, bike uh, bike trail uh, connections to future uh, park projects and signal modifications. You know, again, all these improve not just our commute but quality of life around the area. So, thanks again, one and all, for tuning in. Thank you very much, Council Member. Uh, yep. Oh, go ahead, so. Uh, thank you, Deb. Uh, good evening, attendees, uh, member of Homeowner Association and, and Council Member uh, Carlos Flores. Um, today's, um, let me go to the next slide. Uh, today's meeting is for the pre-construction community meeting for the 820 uh, and Marine Creek Parkway phase one uh, intersection improvement. The city project number is 101585. My name is Iskal Tresta. I am the city project manager for this project, and I will be responsible for day-to-day -day operation of this project. Um, Kim Leon and Associates, uh, Associate is a design team uh, for this project. Today is August 17, 2022. It's about 6 or 5 p uh, p.m. The main goal um, uh, of today's meeting is to get a feedback from you all regarding the upcoming construction project, as well as at the same time, just let you inform you that, that the construction is coming in the vicinity of your neighborhood. Um, expect some delay while the construction is happening. However, at the same time, our goal is to um, minimize that impact as much as possible. The agenda for meeting is um, I'm going to briefly talk about the project background. We'll talk about the existing condition and also uh, propose improvements to what we are doing um, at this intersection, as well as uh, we're going to talk about the traffic control plan uh, slash phasing plan. And we'll also explain about the, uh, uh, the project schedule and other adjacent projects nearby um, and this location. At the end of the slides, we'll take any question uh, that you may have. Before I start with the agenda items, I'd like to introduce you all to the project team. Um, uh, Lister Acevedo is a city, project, uh, uh, city program manager for this project, but unfortunately, unfortunately she's not able to attend today because she had a, a conflict. Um, Dana Sumar is the engineer of record um, uh, with the Kim Lee and Associates for this project. Trent is also the engin um, project engineer with the Kim Lee um, and Associates. Tammy uh, Vaughn is going to be the city inspector for this project. And Dan McClendon uh, is the president of McClendon Construction Company, is a general contractor for, for this project. Uh, project background uh, project is located in Council District Number Two. Uh, it's at the intersection of Marine Creek and, and mm -hmm. Northwest Loop 820. The scope of the project is to construct eastbound U-turn lane, um, as well as um, hike, and, hike and bike trail uh, within the textile right away. The goal of this uh, and the purpose of this project is to reduce um, the control delay of eastbound um, eastbound U-turn lane um, by proposing a free flow separate U-turn lane. Um, what that means is currently if some, someone is traveling on the eastbound uh, A20, and they uh, exited off to the Marine Creek um, and exist right now. They, when they, if they have to do the U-turn lane, they have to go through the two intersection, two um, signalized intersection to make a U-turn. However, as part of this project, what we are doing is we are doing the pre-flow U-turn lane so that they don't have to wait for the signals, and that significantly going to reduce the traffic congestion at that at that location because they're going to have free flow. Uh, the another goal is by reducing the carbon footprint, uh, by reducing the, the control delay at the inter intersection as well, and also provide um, another goal of this project is to provide safe and comfortable user experience for all traveler, uh, whether by foot, uh, bicycle, or a vehicle, because we are uh, connecting that hike and bike trail within, within the project as well. 
and connectivity is another another goal of the project. And I'll discuss about the connectivity later on. At existing configuration, uh, um, current currently the, the existing intersection of 820 and Marine Creek is a diamond interchange. Um, uh, is the Marine Creek is within the textile right of it's a four lane, uh, two lane each way uh, divided um, street, uh, which intersects at, um, at the 820 um, frontage road, both eastbound and westbound, with the signalized intersection. Um, and the speed limit, speed limit of the speed limit of the Marine Creek is 40 miles per hour. Um, the existing configuration currently is. If someone, again, I, I mentioned earlier, if someone is trying to take an exit uh, off of eastbound of 820, trying to make a U-turn, they have, or currently they have to go through the two signalized um, uh, intersection, one at the, at the east, eastbound and um, northbound of uh, Marine Creek light, and another one is westbound and northbound in front of it to, to make a U-turn. That's the existing uh, configuration. Again, the existing because this picture is taken um, at the intersection of um, just north of 820 and, and Marine Creek looking south. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, just like a four lane divided, two lane each way, and it doesn't have um, the free flow U turn lane either in eastbound or westbound. However, as part of this project, we are only proposing the eastbound of, um, U turn lane. Proposed improvements, um, the, the blue, line, blue head set that, uh, that you see in here, the green or blue, uh, is a, is a U-turn, uh, 820 eastbound U-turn lane. And we are also proposing the yellow, uh, yellow set that you see is a, high, a 12 foot wide hike and bike trail. And that's gonna get connected to the, uh, the park um, project, um, which, will, which will connect, I bl um, Marine Creek Lake and um, uh, the park towards the south, I believe, um, trying to figure out what's the name of that park. See, yeah, Box, Box Sens Sensum Park. Um, and we are, there will be concrete medians, some, uh, we're installing some concrete medians, as well as we are doing some minor uh, um, storm drain improvement. We are um, relocating some inlets and we are also proposing some uh, concrete reprap um, as part of this storm, storm drain improve, improvement. Okay, in order to minimize the traffic impact at the intersection, the construction will happen in the two different phases. That's what we're the, our plan is. Um, and the phase one, uh, we will be, sorry, I'll go back again. And the phase one, um, it's gonna be that we will be mostly installing the U-turn lane. Um, at this time, we, uh, we have directed the con uh, contractor, they can only close the lane of, um, Southbound of Marine Creek, um, while they are working and uh, working for for the installation of U-turn, um, and traffic control will be placed um, uh, ex and ex expect some delay while the lane are closed. And please watch uh, for the construction crew during construction. On the phase two, it's the same thing. Uh, we, uh, um, uh, Northbound lane will be closed. Some, it's not entire northbound, will be, it's just the one lane will be closed. Um, people will access to the northbound, but just some lane will gonna, gonna get closed. Again, the traffic control will be, pla will be placed for the safety measure and expect some delay while they're working on, on, on um, while they're doing construction. Again, please watch for the uh, construction crew during construction. A uh, project schedule um, a contractor will mobilize on, uh, ne uh, next month, which is September uh, of this year. And they have um, about 300 calendar years to complete this project. Um, and with this, uh, with this substantial completion, going to be somewhere around, uh, sometime around this, this spring of 2023.
and adjacent project. I think uh, you may be already aware that there is a tra existing trail system that runs along the Marine Creek that connects the um, Buck Seaman Park to the Trinity Trail System. Basically, what it, uh, um, the park has a project that connects Buck Seaman to the Marine Creek, Park Department has it, but our project is only going to be installing um, the section within the textile right away, and uh, that's that. That's why we were saying um, the, the connectivity as part of the project goal, because the people, it, people once this gets installed, people can have access to hike and bike from from um, Marine Creek Trail System to all the way to the Trinity Trail System once it gets com gets completed. Um, the the, pro the park project that from Seaman, Buck Seaman Park to the 820. Um, that currently is under construction right now. Um, I believe the construction is started on July of, of this year, and they, the, uh, they anticipate the construction to be completed um, on December of uh, 2022. That's again, that's from Buck Seaman to the 820, and our project is going to be installing uh, within the textile right away. But these small pieces from the textile right away to the Marine Creek uh, Park is still working on it. Um, I don't have the schedule right now. When they, when they are planning to do that, but if someone wants to know, I'll, I'll find that for you and, and let you guys. Down here and back. That's, I gotta wipe it down still. That being said, I'm, I'm gonna, um, I mean, if you have any questions or concern during construction, you can call me. My number is 817-392-7254. Again, I'm the pro city project manager for this project. Uh, I will be responsible for day-to-day -day operation. And, and Tammy Vaughn is a city inspector. Um, this extension she can be over on uh, Marine Creek. She can be reached at 682-225-9106. And Dan McClendon is, uh, is the president of uh, the general uh, the McClendon Construction Com uh, Company. Um, he can be reached at 817-295-0066. Kyle, this is uh, Council Member Flores. I have a, uh, a question about um, construction impacts they pertain to school hours, right? Drop off uh, times and uh, pickup times. Um, are there any special considerations that the uh, general contractor will take to be mindful you know, of those peak hours? Yeah, thank, thanks for the question, Madam uh, 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 Flores. I believe the, 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 the street use permit is going to be off peak hour. Um, it, it has not been pulled yet. My understanding is that's going to be uh, taken consideration while that, while that uh, uh, street use permit is, is going to be given to the to the contractor. My understanding is anywhere between the they can only work from nine to four, if I'm correct. Of peak hour, and, and and we can still consider if there is a lot of peak 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 volume is coming in, then we still can consider that as well. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You know. Again, all I ask is that uh, you know, to whatever reasonable degree possible, um, that uh, the contractor and planners keep that in mind. Thank you. No problem. Scott, we do have one question uh, that just came in on chat. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Allison is asking, will there be a bridge or tunnel from northbound Marine Creek Parkway 820, or will pedestrians and bike riders have to cross at a light? At the light. Can you repeat that question again, please? Uh, will there be some type of bridge or tunnel from uh, northbound Marine Creek Parkway at 820, um, I assume over the access road? Uh, or to get to the trail, or will they have to cross at a light? Yes. How's the crossing? Yeah, then, yeah. I think I can I, I can answer that question, but I, I'm going to have a, a, a Dana um, add if she wants to. Add. Right now, the currently the configuration is they have to walk through the lights, uh, and they're going to be they're going to be we are doing as part of the project we are doing some sig signal modification uh, for the pedestrian access. Uh, they they will have a safe route uh, to cross. Um, uh, those um, frontage roads to be connected to the through the, uh, the trail system. 
Jenna, correct. do you want to add anything? Yeah, to correct. It's going to be at, at a crosswalk at the signal. That's how we will have to cross the frontage road and Marine Creek. All right. We do have a, a, quite a couple more questions coming in. We have one from Colin. Uh, will there be future changes to the eastbound frontage road to allow more than one lane going straight in the future? Eastbound. I think right now, currently it goes. I, I, if, if I'm correct, then I, right now our plan so the two two through lane for the eastbound. Correct. I'm pulling it up right now. I believe so. Can you go back to the exhibit? This call. Yeah. Sure. I believe there's a dedicated left. <clears throat> And then the other lane is a left through, so only one lane carrying through. Through, yeah. And I, I, I may want to add to it. Maybe it may be In because the future, a lot of people though, that. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Let's go. I apologize for cutting you off. Sure. I was. I was what I'm saying is, it may be because a lot of a lot of people who are taking off. Um, in the eastbound um, to the Marine Creek is most of the people are either either taking a U-turn or a left turn. Uh, maybe that's why you only have one through 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 lane. That's what I'm thinking. But mm -hmm. is... right, we do have another question from Jose. Uh, is the traffic? His question is the traffic after school is bad because the light takes forever to change. Sometimes traffic goes from Jimmy Wright Freeway to Northwest College Drive. Is that going to be addressed? I'm afraid I don't think we we are addressing that as part of this phase, but maybe most likely we are addressing. Is is that? Oh, can you repeat, can you read that question one more one more time, Jeff, please? Sure. Is, is the traffic after school, it's really mm -hmm. bad because the light takes forever to change. Sometimes traffic is from Jimmy Wright Freeway all the way to Northwest College Drive. Northwest, I'm trying to figure out where is Northwest College Drive. It's, so Marine Creek coming southbound, mm -hmm. the traffic queues back up is what I'm understanding from that. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, for the phase that, um, two, I think this this current phase, phase one, getting the U-turn in, probably will not address that. But the second phase will. We'll have the displaced lefts that'll help with optimizing the signal, in the intersection. So the current the current phase will not. Oh, Brianna, have I uh, questions? Yes, sir. In regards to uh, Marine Creek Parkway, north side, the U-turn line uh, going under the freeway that you're constructing in phase number one, have mm -hmm. you allowed for turning radiuses for these gigantic heavy equipment hauler trucks that are going to exit at Marine Creek Parkway, make a U-turn? through this U-turn lane to go up to the uh, Ritchie Brothers uh, auction facility on the westbound Frontage Road. This would mostly be questions regarding height as well as turning radiuses. I have personally counted 42 wheel trailers making this route to go from the eastbound to the westbound. Have you taken counter a counter to that for your engineering design? Yes, sir. Um, we actually got we talked to Ritchie Brothers and got the dimensions of their largest vehicles, and ran a turning template. And um, you'll see like the radiuses on the what Isco has on the screen are a lot larger than the traditional Texas U-turns to account for that. So yes, that, you. that was taken into account. Yes. But to answer your question, yeah, on the front, once this gets con constructed, the 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 truck that uh, gets into that auction thing, they should be easily um, 
get to there using this U-turn lane. another question about the sidewalk I can answer that the question is is there only going to be one sidewalk on the one side yes there's going to be the the trail is going to be a, enough to accommodate two-way it's a it's 12 foot wide along underneath the bridge so it'll be wide enough to accommodate two-way pedestrians but there wasn't enough space to fit in a sidewalk by the u-turn and stay within the bridge abutments for TxDOT's um, footprint And I'll just add on the north and si south side, there will be pedestrian buttons and safe crossings to go back to the west side after you cross under the overpass. I don't, uh, don't see any additional questions in the chat. If uh, anyone else has questions, feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, hopefully one at a time, uh, and we can try to answer any other questions. Hi, um, Connor Harvey, I have a question. Um, sure. So you mentioned that the estimated completion for uh, this project was spring 2023, is that correct? Uh, yes, sir, that's correct. And then the um, the bike trail connection from this project down to Buck Sansom Park. You said the estimated completion for that was December of this year. That is correct. They 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 will finish that before us. Okay. Um, who would I be able to reach out to to find out the timeline on the connection between this project and the trail at Marine Creek Lake? Um, I don't have the. Uh, what I can do? Let me. I think the project manager's name is, give me a minute, let me find the project manager's name. Okay, thank you. Yes, I, I got his, uh, his name. His name is Kevin Rodriguez, and he can be reached at 817-392. Five seven four six. And if you don't get get a hold of him, just just call me and let me know, and then I'll find it for you. All right. Thank you so much. Not a problem. We do have a couple more questions showing up in chat. Uh, Greg wants to know: uh, Is there any potential impact of Texpress? being taken into account uh, for the project? That, I don't know, um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have the answer for that. I may have to reach out to TxDOT and then I, um, to find out what their future plan um, uh, for the A20. There's another question. If it's a tech stop project or Fort Worth project, who will be in charge of the maintenance? Dana, do you wanna do you wanna sure? Um, it is a city funded project, but right now within the right of way, this tech stop maintains the roadway and drainage, but the city will maintain the traffic signals and sidewalk. So it's a combination of maintenance responsibilities. Thank you. Um, Greg did a follow-up, said that the TechPress project is getting ready to start as well. So. There is another, uh, Colleen has another, has a question. Are you taking into account the line of sight of cars going westbound on 820 Frontage Road? Uh, for the pedestrian and bike walkway with the signal. There is a noticeable downhill going westbound and 
she's concerned about car speed and less reaction time. Dana, I may have to defer this question back to you. Or your yeah, team. That's, a, that's a good question, and we'll we'll c confirm in that. But we should have um, the, the stop bars pull back far enough beyond um, where the where the pedal push buttons are, and then the, and I don't know if Abishek's on, but yeah, we'll look and into I, it. And I don't. Yeah, I don't I, know if Colleen. Go ahead, Abishek. Yeah, I'm on. So are we talking about the westbound on the? I think that we we're probably closing that westbound uh, crosswalk now, right? So with the project. Correct. Yeah, so it'd only so be the that, eastern side. Correct. And I, I, I mean, if I recall correctly, I don't think that has a visibility problem. Right, and ideally, you know, pedestrian, the um, the signal head wouldn't allow pedestrians to cross while the light's green. So as long as they're able to stop at the stop bar, then they shouldn't come into conflict with pedestrians who are um, following the signal head. Yeah, that that is correct. And we can we can again look at the side distance if there is issue. But I think, uh, based on my recollection, I think that should have a clear side distance there. All right. Looks like there's a couple more questions that came in. So Jeff, do you want me to read them, or do you want to? Uh, sure, Dana, go ahead. Uh, it seems like traffic will get worse with the addition of the Katie's car wash going in on the eastbound side. Is the car wash the only thing going in there? Or will there be additional businesses or apartments or homes? Iskal, do you want to take that one? This is Council Member Flores. What Katie's car wash are we talking about? Because recently. Carlos, can I, can I comment on that? Yeah, go ahead. Carlos, there, there's a new sign on the other side of 820 now, and it's actually in, it's in a horrible spot. It's right at the, um, uh, it's right at the access point of 820. If you were to turn left on, um, from Marine Creek Parkway, there's a sign there now. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm sure that's coming through, but it just seems odd. There's no way TxDOT would approve if that's the actual location uh, that right. they're wanting for that Katie's car wash. I haven't seen a PC for that yet, Ryan. That thanks. Sure. Uh, yeah, somebody has said that they were going to build the car wash and that they were going to build new, um, like. Um, warehouses or something like that but i was not sure that's what the people at the marine creek uh, apartments had told me the city doesn't do the development developers come in and apply for approvals to put in development so i think it's a review process if they're within TxDOT, coming in off TxDOT front of the road i don't think that they would They'd have to be set back far enough to be able to have safe access from the intersection. There's some background noise. Okay, looks like another question about impact the city bus schedule. Is that referring to the construction? I'm not sure what the, that, Jose, if you could clarify your question, please, about the bus schedule. Katie's just not on the front of the road. I guess that was a yes that the question was about construction. Um, yeah. They will be they'll be um, 
maintaining traffic flow the whole time during construction will be two lanes in each direction. So the, the buses should be able to get through. Yeah, I want to add to that. I mean, I, 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 we don't anticipate any any impact to the bus schedule. It will, it will be there. We will be maintaining the traffic flow. It's just going to be um, during construction, uh, minor impact uh, for the traffic flow through the intersection. But as far as the schedule goes, it's, it should remain the same. Is there any other questions or concerns or feedback? So, I mean, there's a few more statements in there about the Katie's. Um, Greg said it seems strange that two sides aren't planning together. And if Katie's isn't on the frontage roads, it'll be on Marine Creek Parkway. Is this an eastbound frontage road around this area right here behind the, I mean, north of apartment complex? Yeah, I, b I believe that's where. So the new sign is located on the, on the frontage road, actually right at where you merge onto A20. If you were to go right. Right here. Yes, that's where the, that's where the new sign is. Um, the sign used to be on the other side of 820 that uh, got turned down. Um, where it's at, it, it just doesn't make sense. I guess I will follow up with the development department and find out more. But if they are, the construction access is going to be away from the Marine Creek and 820, then it should not impact the intersection um, traffic operation. Um, but I'll, I'll find out more about that project. I'm, all, I'm not aware of that project, but I will find out and then see if there, it has any impact to us um, um, in terms of phase one and phase two both. Thanks for bringing that, bringing that up. Is there any more questions? Yeah, we just had one from Jackie come in and said uh, late to the meeting, if, if the trail will connect to Sansom Park on angle, why not keep it on the same side of the street as the lake as we travel towards downtown on bike? Oh, okay, let me pull that up. I think it's, I mean, just give me a minute. Let me pull that up. If the question is about where the trail is, uh, it, whether it's on the east or west of the Marine Creek, east side of the Marine Creek, from the tra uh, from the lay uh, from the park to the 820. I believe they're asking since the last Brock, book, since Buck Sansom the and the uh, lake are on the west side, then how come the the trail didn't just travel along the west side of Marine Creek? I think I have to reach. Uh, I have to follow up uh, to answer this question to the park project manager. Um, and again, this is already under under construction. I'm not sure if um, it, it can be considered, but um, the portion okay, from so the block. related to um, if we kept the trail on the west side of Marine Creek Parkway in angle, then we wouldn't have to cross the street twice to get to Buck and some park so i was just curious if uh, i'm seeing that right and then where is the other crossing expected to be on angle in order to get to buck Sansom park for people pedestrians and bicycles 
Yeah, I can I can follow up with the park project manager on this one and get this question answered for you right now. I don't I don't have their entire design plan. It's already under construction. I mean, you may, you may, uh, if you ride um, uh, if you drive through there, maybe there are already excavation that has already started. But I can I can get uh, get the actual alignment of uh, this trail system that's from the Buck Simon to the 20 uh, for you if you, if you need it. I, I can get that for you if you don't mind sending me an email thing requesting that I'll I'll, I'll get that for you. And so that you can have the detailed information about the project. Okay, thank you. And I write that twice a week, unless it happened three days ago. There's no construction, at least on the long angle. So, but if it sounds like the design is already finalized, just uh, maybe a missed opportunity. Jackie, I think you may have missed it earlier, but we did discuss with the new eastbound U-turn being added. Um, we weren't able to fit the trail in on the west side, at least within the textile right away at the um, project limits we're talking about. But like Eskal said, I think the the decision to put it on the east side for the rest of the trail, um, we'd have to reach out to the other project manager. You have one more question because they want to know why I only put one U turn in. Yeah, Corey, yeah. I mean, we did the. Dana, do you want to answer that? I mean, I'm assuming that based on the traffic study, that a lot of volume of the traffic is taking a U turn and, and, and it's needed to um, basically reduce the congestion at, at this intersection. That's why we are proposing it. That's number one. Number two would be the funding. Correct. Yeah. And then right now, yeah, there's not a high volume of doing U turns. Yeah. I mean, in the future, that may be a future project that TechSot could do, but the current need is definitely the eastbound U turn. Old Decatur is located so close on the east side that there's that's that's really limiting the need for that U turn going westbound. But with Huffines Drive and at our last public meeting, there was a lot of people saying that that U-turn movement is their regular route. So that's kind of what prompted this eastbound U-turn. Yeah, I mean, with the new retail coming in, Jose, I think, yeah, that's something that will have to be evaluated um, as that does develop. But it was caught, the city didn't have the funding to do much more than planned right now. But it will be a benefit to the overall intersection for sure. Uh, there's another question from Greg. How long is the U-turn lane on the eastbound exit? Trenton, can you look that up? So as they, on the eastbound exit, okay. So on the south side of the road, uh, the left side of the pay, left side of the screen here. Yes, okay. We can get that number for you. I don't have it off the top of my head. The question: How long is the U-turn lane from from eastbound to westbound? Is, is that is that a question? Is or we can I believe it it's, off of Google. I believe it's the length of the like deceleration lane um, along oh, okay. the eastbound front of the road. Okay. It is about 300 feet long. Um, I'd say in between 300 and 350 feet long.
not see any other questions come in, Iskall. So. Yeah, if, there, if there is no more question, then again, um, thank you everyone for attending. And we are really, really excited for this project. I, um, um, from now and uh, until the construction, I mean, the, while, while the construction is happening, if you have any questions, um, uh, please feel free to call me, our city inspector, if you have any concern uh, or anything like that, and, and we'll get that addressed. Uh, that being said, again, thank you everyone for attending. I'm going to stop sharing my screen unless someone has any questions. Ishkal, this is uh, Council Member Flores. Uh, I would like to be copied answers to all the questions uh, asked at this uh, virtual meeting, please. Will do. All right. Thank you. Thank you.